Hey guys, it's Lynette Christelle here, and today is an overview video. Um, I'm doing this one by one. I'm not going to record, be recording like a whole bunch of overview videos in one day, just because I'm kind of lazy. <laughs> but um, today is going to be about my lip glosses, the lip glosses that I own. Of course, it's always growing whenever Mac comes out with a new collection, or if there's really something that I really, really like from other brands too, it's going to be added to my lip gloss collection. Um, I think lip gloss was the first makeup item I've ever really liked when I started getting to makeup because it was just easy to use. You just put on your lips and you're ready to go. Um, so yeah, I really love lip glosses first and I'll go ahead and show you what I have. So let's get started with um, stuff in tubes. Um, I have Ooey Gooey S'mores from Benefit and then this is just a really pretty sparkly color. It does taste really good on the lips, like the scent of it. Um, I like this. I like to put this over like a matte lipstick. It really um, brightens it up and adds some shimmer. So I like this one. And then just as like a lip treatment during throughout the day, I like to use Murad's um, Hydrate and Protect. Here, I don't know if you can see it there. Um, Murad's Hydrate and Protect Energizing Pomegranate Lip Protector. It's SPF 15. Um, it tastes really good, smells really good, I mean, and it's like a sh very, 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 very sheer pink on the lips. So I have this in my makeup bag all the time with me, just as like a really quick hydrator for the lips. Okay, and then stuff in pots. I have two tender tones. One is um, Tender Baby, which is like just a matte pink color. It's Tender Baby. And then I have Hush Hush. And these ones are just, you know, fun to have. It has like a kiwi strawberry scent, which I like. And, you know, these are just really fun to have in your collection. Uh, these I've had forever. These are tinted lip conditioners. And these came out with the uh, MAC Disney lip things. Um, they're very, very fun to have. This one reminds me of Pink Fish. This is Miss Bunny. Just maybe a little darker. And this one is Coquettish Clarice and it's more of a coral. So yeah, um, they're, you know, it's kind of hard to get through these if you have other lip balms that you use. So I, I kind of like having, keeping them in my collection. And then these are non-MAC ones. Um, this is from Stila Lip Stila. These are lip pots. And one's in Bai and Cerise. Cerise is more of a red tint. And Bay, I don't know how to say it, <laughs> is more of a rosy mauvey tint. And these just are like the lip conditioners. Um, but these have more of a color or more of a tint to them, so. These are fun to have too. And then, um, let's see, NARS. This is my absolute favorite NARS lip gloss right now. This is an easy lover. Yes, the color isn't in intimidating. In my staples video, you'll see I'm wearing it and it's not this color at all on your lips. It really just brings out the pink um, out of your lips when you put this on. So I really like this. I have two NYX. Um, NYX Goddess of the Night lip glosses. This one is French Kiss. Then the other one is Smoky Look, so great for smoky eyes. Okay, and then on to MAC. These are discontinued items. These are MAC Lip Lacks. I got these from the CCO, and the one on top, the red one, is Fen Plastico, and underneath is Veneer, which is a very, very pretty fuchsia color. These colors are so pretty over lipsticks. If you wear these alone, <laughs> they will come off within seconds because... I don't know, like you'll see the, the color on your lips, but then it just comes off when you wipe it with a napkin. So I think these are just a pretty like over the lipstick colors to have. Um, so definitely check out your CCO. And for Dazzle glasses, I have seven Dazzle glasses. And I think one one's a Dazzle cream or Dazzle glass cream. So these are the ones that I have. I have Smile and Baby Sparks. 
in a dazzle gla glass cream in perfectly unordinary um, bare necessity which is more of a nude nude color and has like pink and purple uh, sparkles in it very very pretty and I like this one too Eurobeat this one's a discontinued but it's a coral with with silver and gold um, shimmer this one's a popular one with my clients. It's uh, Love Alert, and this looks really pretty over Russian red lipstick. It uh, makes the Russian red more like of a pinky red, so a lot of my clients like this one. And this is also a Dazzle Glass Cream in Cream Allure. So those are my Dazzle Glass, Dazzle Glass Creams. Uh, Viva Glam 6, great everyday lip gloss. Um, this is called Kumquat. This came out with the spring forecast collection now a lot of my lip glosses are limited edition so definitely check out your CCO if you can't find these at the store or um, eBay so kumquat which is a very pretty orange lip gloss and nymphet is a permanent I think this is a definitely this is definitely a must-have in your collection or your makeup kit. It's just flatter. It's very um, very pretty on any skin tone. It looks really really pretty. So Nymphet, um, Love Child, which is a plum color. It's like tracks. No, kinda. It's like tracks in a lip gloss form. So Love Child. This is also from the Spring Color Collection, which is Hush Hush Rose, a very pretty pink lip gloss to have. And this came out, this was repromoted twice, I think. This is Magnetique, and you can also find these in the holiday sets, too. And a flesh, more of a fleshy color lip gloss. This is 2N, very pretty if you just want a nude lip gloss. And for a luster glass, I have um, pink carrot, very sheer. Um, it has like gold flecks in it, very sheer pink. And this looks very pretty over snob or show orchid, very very pretty. So I like this one too. Also from Spring Color Forecast is Cha Cha. It's similar. It's more like a coral pink than Nymphet, but you can definitely. Um, compare the two. I do like Nymphet better, but um, this is fun to have. And I'm wearing it over Thrills lipstick, so very pretty. Another flesh colored lip gloss is 1N. Again, check out your CCO for all these other ones that you can't find. Um, BN, which is this, I don't know, it's like, it's like a gold, creamy gold color. Um, Definitely not to be worn alone. <laughs> it just, it's a pretty lip gloss to have over, like, um, I think Freckle Tone is a very, Freckle Tone, um, and what was the other one? Fresh Brew. This is very pretty over those, um, lip, lipsticks. And then this is from Fafi, um, Cult Fave. It's, it's a pink, like a milky pink with, like, fine silver glitter. So, that's pretty. Right. Okay, so another luster glass is Love Knot. This came out with the Naughty Nauticals collection. It is such a pretty um, luster glass. It's more of a like a chromographic lip luster glass. Very, very pretty. And this is Bonus Beat from the Heatherette collection. It's a more shimmery version of 1N or 2N. Um, again, another pretty nude. And this is a permanent pink poodle. I think it, this one is also a must-have in your makeup collection. Very, very vibrant pink. You can wear this alone or over um, any lipstick, actually, besides the nudes. But um, any, like, red or pink or even purple lipstick. This looks very, very pretty over that. Purple Rage is more of a dark... It's like a dark, dark grape color with gold flecks in it. And this is very pretty over like a plum or even a red lipstick too. Next one is from MAC Hello Kitty. This is Mimi. Um, very pretty coral color with little gold shimmer. So this is fun to have. From Style Warriors, I have Liberated, which is a yellow. I don't have any yellow lip glosses, so I, had to, I got this one. And I like this over like a coral lipstick.